So I'm going to pass it to Lewis to talk about what's going on with MacBook Pros. Because if you're trying to buy one, you know, you, you just can't get one. Not, not even trying to. If you tried to buy one, this is what's really, I mean, horrifying. So the headline is Apple pushes February, February MacBook Pro orders back to June. So you ordered one two months ago, and it's still not coming for two more months. Yeah. People who ordered a top-tier MacBook Pro in February are being notified that it won't be delivered until June. The delay results from COVID-19 lockdowns in China that are hampering notebook assembly. Uh, new orders also face delays of several months. And uh, as to what you're alluding to, what this basically makes you want to do is buy a refurbished 2021 MacBook Pro, which is available <laughs> in a couple of days in many cases. Uh, so... All these problems of, you know, global supply chain things, you know, they've, I don't know if you've seen the pictures of people being, you know, taped and caged in China. But, uh, you know, these factories are shut down or have been a little bit. And uh, it's been hitting Mac buyers hard, you know, never mind the people who are stuck in their apartments. But uh, one example we have is a cult of Mac reader, uh, Brenton Henry who's uh, <laughs> looking at a very long wait for his maxed out MacBook Pro. He, said, he got in touch and they said, we put our order in on February 6th, and not, they're now quoting June 14 to June 28 That's for wild. fulfillment. Yeah. Over four months to get a machine is an enormous amount of time. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, they, they've come out with <laughs> new products since then, right? I mean, and, I mean who knows? Yeah. Anyway, these, those placing new orders wait face waits just as long order a 2021 macbook pro with an m1 max processor from apple.com and the estimated delivery time is between june 14 and june 28 which sounds i don't know exactly like what happened to the guy who ordered it so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know that, it sounds like they're pretty sure that's as early as anyone's going to get one which is not cool yeah so if you don't want to wait that long you mentioned refurbs and i'm not going to pretend like this is some secret unknown trick but what you may not know is that Apple does have the newest M1 Max, M1 Pro, MacBook Pros available on the refurbished store. So you just go to apple.com, store.apple.com. You scroll down to the bottom here, and you click on refurbished and clearance. And then you click on the little Mac icon right here. You can see they sell all sorts of stuff. And then you click on MacBook Pro. And if you want, you can even tell it which year, what size you're looking for, what finish you're looking for, everything. And when I last looked at this, they had a ton of stuff. In fact, I, I, I hesitated to even talk about this story today because <laughs> I was thinking about getting a 14-inch MacBook Pro. And they had them for like 10, 15% off when I looked. And they had the exact one I wanted. They had a, a M1 Max 14-inch MacBook Pro, 2 terabyte hard drive, and uh, 32 gigs of RAM. Like That was exactly what I wanted. And they had it. And now it's gone. So I think people are starting to wise up and there's only M1 Pro MacBook Pros here, 14 and 16 inch, but they refresh this periodically. So if you just keep checking back, you'll get the one that you want and you'll get it within two days, as Lewis mentioned, and you get a 10% discount. So is, is it 10? I thought it was 15. Oh, maybe it is 10. It depends. So oh, okay. I think it varies. When I was oh, looking I at these, these were all 10% off, but sometimes it's way more. In fact, the funny thing is, is like, they keep listing 2019 MacBook Pros for sale, and they're way more than 10% off. And they are seriously specced out machines, like four terabytes of SSD and, uh, you know, like huge amounts of RAM and stuff. Because otherwise, I'm like, who's buying a refurbished 2019 MacBook Pro for $3,000? <laughs> but if you, if you need a bunch of, you know, storage and you want maxed out RAM, then this might be a good option for you. But in any case... <clears throat> The other tip is, and I know this is going to be something that most people can't do, but I at least want to bring it up. <laughs> for those of you that know someone that works for Apple, they they get an additional 15% off the refurb store. So that is a smoking hot price because that's 25% that's off the retail price of a Mac. And if you know anyone that works for Apple, you know that they get one twenty five percent off discount per year on a Mac on an iPhone, on an iPad, and then in other categories, they get multiple 25% offs. And so this is a way to bypass that 25% off limit because they've probably used it for themselves already. But if it shows up in the refurbished store, the, re the refurb price is already discounted 10%, and then you get your friend to give you another 15% off, now you're, now you're playing with power, as they say, Lewis. That's gonna be 25% off. 